Every citizen needs to understand is that while he or she has human rights, he or she also has human responsibilities. The Western countries are more reluctant if we talk about the responsibilities. Amid the pandemic, is pretty much a big bone of contention. Quarantine versus individual liberty. Wearing a mask versus no mask. And this is Global Arena. Let's establish one important historical fact, that in the 20th and 21st centuries, humanity has advanced dramatically because now we no longer take care of just the very rich, the very the elites in the world, we take care of 100% of the population. So when COVID-19 breaks out, the natural assumption is that every human being is equal. We have to treat every human being equally and we have to take care of everybody. And that's what all societies around the world are doing. And that was the great leap forward with the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Every citizen needs to understand is that while he or she has human rights, he or she also has human responsibilities to his or her fellow citizens. And so when the state says wear a mask, you wear a mask, not just to protect yourself, you wear a mask to protect your fellow citizens also. Because at the end of the day, since we live in a small interdependent planet together, all of us, and that's the message that, that COVID-19 is sending to us. Humanity is one. And so we have an obligation to take care of ourselves. And we have an obligation to take care of our fellow citizens. And that's why we also need to talk of rights and responsibilities. I only see that these, the Western countries are more reluctant if we talk about the responsibilities and they're more relying on the rights system, whereas Asian countries are talking much more about responsibilities. And that's actually the reality. I want to add one more very important dimension from the, one of the greatest American philosophers, John Rawls, and he wrote a beautiful book called The Theory of Justice. And, you know, he said, at the end of the day, the most just society is the one that you want to join blind not knowing whether you're in the top 10% or bottom 10%. And therefore, the most just society is the one that takes care of the bottom 10%. And that's what I think is missing in this debate on rights and responsibilities and all that, is that if you just focus on rights, what happens is that the top 10% benefits because they have all the freedoms, the capacity, the means in order to enjoy the rights. But the bottom 10% are struggling, struggling day by day often to get food, to get a job, to get shelter, to get education, to get medicines. And we forget this bottom 10%. So what we need to do is to adopt the advice of uh, John Rawls, the American philosopher, and says, if you want to understand what is a good society, look at the society that takes care of its bottom 10%. Many East Asian societies are paying a lot of attention to it. And sadly, uh, as you all know, in the United States, the bottom 10% and indeed the bottom 50% hasn't seen an imp improvement in their standard of living over 30 years, as documented by Nobel laureate uh, Angus Deaton.